so as golfers, we tend to spend a good amount of time thinking about of our, our equipment, from clubs to bags to shoes to apparel. We give a lot of thought to it. But what's the one piece that we don't think about nearly as much? The golf ball. In today's video, we are going to talk about the importance of giving real attention to the golf ball that we select and why it matters for golfers of every level. So let's get to it. So in the interest of full disclosure, let me start out by saying that I serve as a brand ambassador and certified ball fitter for Titleist brand golf balls. But what we're talking about in today's video is not at all golf ball brand specific and don't worry, I won't be trying to sell you or encourage you to go toward one brand versus another. So as I mentioned in the opening, the one piece of equipment that is used on every golf shot is the golf ball. Given its significance in effective play, you'd think that most of us would give it a, a lot more thought, but we tend not to. So what we're doing by not thinking about that ball is this. We are adding to the likelihood that there's another variable, potentially another inconsistency in our golf game. And of course, as golfers, we know that golf is full of variables. And the key to becoming a good golfer is to control and minimize as many of those variables as we possibly can. Now, that's very difficult to do because most elements of golf we do not control. We don't control the weather. We don't control whether it's sunny, windy, rain. We don't control how low the fairways are cut, whether they're not cut at all. We don't control most everything. So those things that we can control, like the golf ball, we need to pay attention to. By not using the same golf ball model on your round, during your rounds of play and during your short game practice, you are, there's, we're leaving some opportunities on the table. So again, this is not at all uncommon, but what I found is that there are three myths about golf balls that really hold a lot of new beginner and emerging golfers back. And we've just got to bust through those myths so that we can level up and get ready to play our best golf ever. So let's get to it. We're going to talk, bust down these three myths. Here we go. Myth number one. Playing with whatever ball is in my bag is no big deal. For most golfers, it couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, when you are playing with a wide variety of golf ball models, brands, so on and so forth, what you're doing is putting yourself at a distance disadvantage. One of the things about playing with the same golf ball model on a regular basis is that it creates familiarity, which also then allows you to develop confidence and then of course consistency so think about it this way if you have a car you've been driving it for some time some years you know that car very well you know its responsiveness or lack thereof you know the nuances when you turn the wheel and so on and so forth you know what the car will do or won't do and so on and so forth think of it then if you went and let's say it was time to buy a new car and you're test driving and you've identified the perfect car you go you buy it it's great it's brand new it's got all the bells and whistles and obviously the responsiveness is there the speed is there all of those things you know those attributes those features are there but you are not quite yet familiar with that car that automobile so it takes some time for you to really be able to be fully comfortable and not have to think about where all of the, the buttons and the like are in that car, how the, the gas pedal is going to react, how the wheel is going to react, what the car is going to do. That takes time. So if we take that analogy back to our golf ball, it's the same thing. If I'm playing this ball on this round or even on this hole versus the last hole, I'm never going to get to know what this golf ball can do with me and for me. And again, for most of us, that is really important because again, familiarity breeds comfort, confidence, and consistency. And ultimately, that's what we want. Myth number two, I'm not good enough for the golf ball that I use to matter very much. Untrue. Golfers of every level and ability can benefit from being consistent in the golf ball model with which they play on a regular basis. I'm gonna take it up a notch. Every golfer of every level can also benefit from playing with what we would call a premium or a high performance ball. So think about this, the balls that include 
say, for example, the Callaway Chrome or the Titleist Pro V or the TaylorMade TP5 series, and there are many others. Those are the kind of top of tier balls, the most expensive golf balls, of course, but even the golfer who's never broken close to 100 can benefit from those balls. And let me tell you why. Because those balls are built with advanced technology, of course, but most important for us to understand is that they are designed to most reward a well-struck ball. So again, if you're a newer golfer and you're not close to quite breaking 100 just yet, that's no problem. But when you strike the ball well, I promise you that premium golf ball is going to reward that shot. That's why experienced golfers tend to love those balls because they can get the maximum value for their effort. It's a great return on investment, if you will. But I understand that as a new and developing golfer, that's not always a smart move to run out and pick the most expensive ball in the pro shop. So that's not what I'm saying at all, folks. What I am saying is this, there is a model out there for you. So the good news is we have all of these great ball manufacturers who make complete lines of balls from the premium all the way down to a more economic and basic uh, ball in their line. And all of them have features and attributes that lend themselves toward one uh, helping you in one way or the other. So that's important to know. So there is a reason for you to hone in and play with one specific golf ball model, no matter your level of uh, experience or skill. Myth number three, all golf balls out there are pretty much the same and there really isn't a golf ball out there that fits my game. One more time, not true. There really are game-changing performance and quality differences among the different golf ball models among the manufacturers, okay? Now, those attributes really reveal themselves around the short game area, which is important for every golfer. And when I say that, of course, I mean around the greens, including chips and putts, where accuracy is at an absolute premium. Now, one great way to help identify a ball that is right for you is to set up an appointment with a certified ball fitter. Now, earlier I mentioned how I served as a certified ball fitter, and there are many people like myself around in the golf community. So if you can set up an appointment, let me tell you what is a valuable outcome from um, a ball fitting appointment. As a certified fitter, I know an awful lot about the intricacies of a golf ball and what it's supposed to do in certain contexts and in certain circumstances. What a fitter does is work to narrow down between all the balls that are available along with what you are doing, your, your performance and habits and skill set as a player. Marrying the two together, we're able to find a golf ball that will work well for you. Now the key to this, again, once you identify a golf ball in conjunction with a fitter, you have to be willing to commit to playing with it for some time. Again, if we go back to that car analogy I mentioned, familiarity takes time, right? And then from that familiarity, we get comfort, confidence, and consistency. If an appointment with a ball fitter is not an option for you, no problem. What I want you to do is prepare to sit down with your um, machine, with your, with your computer or, or phone or whatever the case may be. I'm gonna do a little research online. And I want you to identify three, no more than four, golf ball models that seem to be consistent with what you need right now. So for example, if you are looking for a little bit of distance help and something that's gonna help you keep the ball a little bit straighter off, off the driver, then look for that in the ball. But remember that it's important to pick what your a ball that is gonna assist you with where your game is right now, not where you are from an aspirational standpoint. Again, you're gonna work hard, you're gonna practice, you're gonna take your lessons, you're gonna improve, you're gonna play, and you're gonna to get to that next level. But right now we're looking for that integral piece of equipment that's gonna help you get there, right? It's gonna aid that advancement. So that's really important. And here are three key tips to really help you in identifying the ball right, that's right for you if you can't get to that ball fitter. Number one, select a ball that fits in your comfort zone in terms of price point. If the thought of losing a ball that costs about $4 makes you throw up, that's not the ball for you. And it's no problem because again, 
There are lots of great golf balls out there and you don't have to spend $50 a dozen to find a great ball for you. Number two, and this one's a toughie, don't fall prey to slick marketing and packaging. And golf is, uh, <laughs> the golf industry is infamous for its packaging and marketing. You know, the old phrase goes, if I could only buy a game, right? So we have to, again, focus on what you need from the ball and the key features and attributes that are listed for that specific ball model. Again, it's a lot of balls out there, so you have to spend a little bit of time reading, but you'll find that there's one out there. There are a couple out there for you. So select those and, and go from there. So that's number two. Number three, remember that we are selecting a ball that is compatible with your current game, not where we wanna be in six months or 12 months or that type of thing. I love the aspiring goals that we all have, but again, I wanna emphasize that we're selecting a product and a piece of equipment to help us right now, not in six months. So pick a ball that is actually right for you and where you are. And following those three tips will serve you well because we wanna level up our games. And understanding that the golf ball is one of the most important pieces of equipment and ultimately one of the most important decisions we make as a golfer that's looking to level up. So I hope this has been helpful to you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.